that's not who they play. So it's really cool to see those dynamics. All right. Looks like we have Ninjistics playing Ooh. Greninja. Oh, and I, one of my I fun love, characters to watch. Yes. I mean, well, I think we're all thinking Shinjobi, mm -hmm. but I know I don't know this guy, but hopefully he'll mm -hmm. live up close to the standards. Yeah. And then we have Enigma, a uh, Sheik. That so I also Ninja the Ninja. <laughs> oh. Also, shout outs to Ninjistics. I love that that's his name with the Greninja character. Yeah. I, I like when it names well make sense. Well. Yeah, that's cool. And then Enigma is a very solid player himself. Um, played him a couple times over the course of my career. Um, that makes me sound so old, like some my old career. sports. My career. I've been uh, here for a while. <laughs> but he's got a very solid Sheik, which is, I think, who he's sticking to lately. I know he also has a Rosalina. I know he also has, like, a Donkey Kong. Really? So it's such I'm, a weird range yeah. of characters, but yeah. I like it. I, it's kind of cool. They're but all, like, completely different. He's been feeling uh, Sheik, though, and... You know, I, I do understand. I mean, there is something to say that a lot of Sheik players get flack, but it is a tournament. You're entering money. Like, you know, there's not to say that you're playing the best character. Like, yeah. I mean, let's look at Neil, Sinibu. Like, that's kind of his mentality, and I respect it. You know, like, um, I don't play Sheik because I don't have fun with Sheik, but I, I don't have fun with Sheik either. I yeah. think it's a bit right. too much fair for me. And to, like, just flow charty kind of thing, yeah. but I mean, if it's your thing, go for it. Yeah, and it looks like we're rocking Shinjobi's color too. We're not gonna him again, but all right, here we go. Yeah, just going in with nice. the ninja. Ninjas with some oh. like nice stuff, but that nice was a questionable really questionable up smash charge. Very questionable. Ooh, nice recovery yeah. though. You don't see Greninjas go for that a lot, and that's kind of an advantage, like a nice mix-up if you're playing, say, I don't think these two have ever played. Oh, another up smash just kind of out there. I think he's just going for the hard reads. Yeah, I think like he, that book's a little too high of a Lexile for him. I think he wants the bouncing fish. Oh, yeah. Which would be very good, but the thing is Enigma's a very smart player, and he doesn't go for a bouncing fish in neutral as far as I've observed. So that he's gonna have to play the neutral a bit stronger if yep. he wants to take this match. Oh, Ooh, nice, nice falling nice up call. air. I mean, that's another thing too. Like she definitely takes a bit of technique. You know, there's a bit yeah. of skill involved in that to pull off. Some I mean, of that Sheik stuff. is the best person in the game. You can't just say, "Oh, I'm gonna play Sheik and, and win." win. You right. have to. You this is a Meta Knight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From Brawl. <laughs> I love that. Oh, is oh no, that will grab the ledge. Oh, and one of those up smashes finally connects. Yeah. The big thing in this matchup, though, is it's interesting because Greninja is usually a character who has trouble killing. But I think this is the one matchup where he actually beats his opponent in that, where he has a yeah. bit more kill power than Sheik, for instance. The thing is, Ninjistix is going for a lot of really questionable hard reads that just yep. aren't working for him. So I'd love to see him switch up his style, maybe go for more grabs. That was a very good up smash, though, because it was a nice anti-air. Ooh, trying to push him off with the hook. Ooh. He comes oh. back with that a lot. I'm surprised that Enigma hasn't caught onto that yet. I think he tried to punish it. Enigma's still learning exactly how oh, to. Oh, yeah. I know he went for the down smash, but yeah, it's gonna. I think he has to take to the air a bit more to punish that. Ooh, and he he, he does approach and like retreat with it a lot on stage yeah. too. It can be oh, nice. Oh, that's an up Ooh. smash that got punished hard. Yeah. That's very unfortunate. Uh, that comes was right back in with another one. I think this is his yeah. favorite move. And I think it was a matter of, uh, you know, Enigma was just trying to recover kind of in a like panic way, and it just worked yeah. out for him because Ninjistics committed too much. Uh, let's see if he can take the stock off there. He doesn't have too much extra credit, so it's, yeah, very, it's doable. very doable. Yeah, it's still very doable. Another down arm stage that will get punished. Here we go. Oh, spacing those really well, but yeah, great air dodge. Nice. See if we can close this off. Okay. Ooh, that was oh, interesting oh, nice. recovery. That was a good oh. option by Enigma to kind of fall back and go for that. It didn't uh, get both hits, but still. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Wow. Nice. Using that up. Oh, oh that was go. nice. That was smooth. I think I think the just the problem is the the large amount of commitment that mm. is not needing to be put. Yeah. Shout out to Enigma though, showing off. Uh, he's definitely been working hard. Like you yeah. can tell. Like he that was a very nice uh, grenade to kind of fate a certain way for Ninja Six to recover so he could get the bouncing fish and then just the totally unexpected Yeah, I didn't vanish. even see that coming. Right, and that's why it was so good because he waited till the very end. He didn't pull that out right away, so 
very good mix-up. Um, and that's something I'd like to see Ninjistix, who's definitely a solid player. Um, I'd like to see him do that a bit more. I'd like to see him do more mix-ups. Um, I think if he just uh, kind of plays the approach game a little differently, a bit safer, he'll have an easier time. Because to be fair, he lived for a long time, yeah. uh, both stocks. He just needs to... I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> Sorry, I got someone yep, talking yep, to me fine. off camera. But, obviously, what do you think Ninja Six needs to do in this matchup to take it back? Um, stop being such a good boyfriend and quit committing. <laughs> like, you need to quit that. I think there needs to be a lot less, a lot less commitment and a lot more, you know, just on the spot. That's amazing. And whatever feels right. That's how I say it when I play Pikachu, and I've heard lots of other Pikachus actually that before. What you, what your moves are, just, it's what you feel will connect. Oh, yeah. And that, that doesn't apply for everything, but I think Greninja is one of those characters. Well, I definitely ship <laughs> Sheik and Greninja now. So <laughs> uh, but I, I definitely ship it. <laughs> I definitely agree with you, though. And I think he's starting to pull off some of that um, kind of mentality, that play style, a little bit right now. He's a little stronger than I think he was game one. Yep. I haven't seen any random up smashes so far, so I'm a little proud. Yeah, no, he's definitely been doing that better. And that down smash there, I thought that was good because it was well spaced. <gasps> There Ooh. we go. See, that's, See, that's what. A good one. There we go. I think on the edge it tends to work really well. I don't. I don't think up smash is such a good ledge guard for O and Ooh. rolls right back into like the best choice for the ledge guard. But mm. Ooh, another one caught though. Ooh, oh, there we go. Nice wait. Now, some of this commitment's actually working. Yeah. But I think he's uh, reading a bit more. Mm. He's not just I doing it in the neutral. Yeah, yep. Now, Enigma not being too phased by it. He still looks like he's keeping himself really cool and collected. Not sure about some of those grenades, though. Oh, wow. Oh, just an onto nice. up to just take that stop. Mm. And Ninjistix is, uh, keeps getting bopped by that. He's going to have to watch yep. out for those. And that's the thing, even though Sheik's a common character, a lot of people still forget about how much kill power that actually has. Yep. It's probably one of Sheik's best kill moves, besides like Bouncing Fish or out there. Alright, let's see how much extra credit he's gonna attack on before he can take this stuff. Now, Ninjistix is uh, looking a little shaky right now. Um, I think he's kind of in that, like, panic mode of, like, yep. oh, it's game two, I'm down. Mm -hmm. um, I need to take this back. That's not when you just, like, it's Ooh, oh, that there was we nice go. spacing and a nice wait for that That quarter. was really, really nice. Hey. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, this is still very doable. Oh, mm. two up smashes. The second one at the shower spot, though. Yeah. These, these percents are, are almost equal again now, though. There we go. Yeah, Ninjistix with a beautiful read just kind of waited. I didn't even think of that. You know, I didn't think that yeah. for Ninja, he would be able to drop down with a like that. It was so beautiful. Yeah, that was so cool. But here we go. Now we're, like, at an even game. Very even. And this is... Yeah, I think this is where stage control is just so important when it's like close and it's like even because you need that momentum so bad. Ooh, we caught him on that side. Beat. Yeah, that was really. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. It was mm. such a close game. But the oh. with him down. That that's oh. hard when you like are close and then you just has to do. Like I've been there. I've I been feel there that. Too. Pikachu, that's hard. Quick attack off the side. But yeah, great showing by both players. Yep. Uh, shout out to Ninja Six for kind of bringing that back, mm -hmm. and shout out to Enigma for Ninja. yeah. A lot yeah. of a lot of those up smashes definitely should be changed, but I think mm -hmm. I think he had a lot of potential. Look like oh yeah, for sure. And Enigma just uh, showing off his uh, hard work, mm -hmm. doing really well. But not the cleanest of two O's, but definitely a fair two O. Yeah. All right. I don't know who these two are, but that kid's got some big hair. That's looking like middle school me right there. <laughs> I believe that's nameless. Oh, really? 